Welcome back guys to another cyberpunk video. I finally decided to make an update about the new best money glitch, which is by far the best money glitch by a very long shot. I've collected all the questions you had in the comments about doing this glitch and I will answer all of them and clarify every single step. We will do this step by step with a new character and get millions with this new character within this video. First of all, this glitch can be done with any item which is stackable. That means you can do it with any junk item, with any food item, even with grenades and health boosters or with your crafting materials. Which also means that this glitch can be used to get an infinite amount of crafting materials as well. You can of course simply go to a food vendor and buy two copies of each sort of food or also get two copies of each sort of crafting materials. So you have a lot of stacks to start with and do this trick. Some people are getting confused by the controls and what they actually have to press to execute this glitch and to open the second cell menu when they sold everything. So on Xbox you have to press A to open the cell menu, on PlayStation you have to press X to open the cell menu and on PC you have to use the left click to open the cell menu dialog. In the cell menu dialog you then have to adjust the slider to sell minus one copy than you actually own. After you adjusted the selling volume, it is especially important that you place your cursor still on the item stack you want to sell. This is especially important on PC because you likely used your mouse to adjust the slider. So place it back on the item stack you want to sell. One of the most important things with this glitch is that you are now not only pressing the confirm button. You have to hold the sell button which was the button which opened this dialog. On Xbox hold A, then press confirm X. On PlayStation hold X, then press confirm square and on PC you just have to press and hold the F key while your cursor is still on the stackable item. By doing this you will confirm the cell and you will immediately reopen the selling menu at the same frame. And this is causing the game to glitch and you can now actually sell again the whole amount of items. After you did that you will see the double amount of items on the Dropbox side. So if you had 14 you will now see 27 on the Dropbox side. Now what a lot of people are doing wrong is they simply start duplicating it from the Dropbox back to your inventory. This is a fundamentally wrong way to do this glitch because this is not profitable. The only profitable duplication is when you duplicate from your inventory towards the Dropbox or towards a vendor. Never duplicate it back from the vendor to you because this is not profitable. Only the way from your inventory to the vendor is a profitable way. If you start duplicating in the wrong direction you have to pay for all your items. If you just simply rebuy them you don't have to pay for them. You just pay for half of these items and you only pay the rebuy price. And that is where the money comes from. Every time you do the duplication you get half of these items for free. The game only lets you pay for the first wave you sold. You get the other half back for free. It is much simpler to understand if we look at the results of each duplication. You start with 100 items, for example, the machine stays at 20k, then you get 200, the machine stays at 20k, then you get 400, the machine stays at 20k, 800, 1600, 2000, the machine always stays at 20k money. Which means you get all these items for free. Now I will show you the step by step guide to get millions of a very low level character. First of all we have to generate a base amount of money, for example 200 or 300 thousand money. This is simply done by duplicating multiple stacks of items until they reach a limit of 20k. Because 20k is the maximum stack limit the vending machine can afford. Make sure you always duplicate from your inventory towards the machine and buy it back normally. Never do it in the wrong direction because then you will lose the profit. When you reach the money limit of the Dropbox you have to adjust the slider so that you only sell as much to the Dropbox as the Dropbox can afford until the Dropbox has only left a few hundred. Leave the whole stack in the Dropbox and only buy back a few hundred items so that you get the maximum amount of money out of the Dropbox. You should be able to get 18 or 19 thousand out of the 20 thousand. Then you skip time for 24 hours to refill the money in the Dropbox and then simply duplicate the same stack or another stack again. Having a few hundred items makes it much easier to reach the limit of the drop box much much quicker. You should do this process until you reach around 200 or 300 thousand. It is not necessary to get any more money with this simple method. Because after that we will simply duplicate 200 thousand and we don't care about the small limit of 20 thousand anymore. We are now in the major leagues. In order to duplicate our 200 thousand eddies we have to give them all to a vendor or put them into a drop box. 
So this can be done in two ways. You simply go to a normal weapons dealer and buy everything until you have spent all your 200,000 and he has a stack of 220,000 on his side. Or you simply do the duplication in the wrong direction with a drop box. Because the wrong direction is not profitable and you have to pay for all these duplicated items. So if you do that two or three times in the wrong direction with a drop box, you will make the drop box get all your money very very quickly. Once the vendor or the machine has all your money, you simply duplicate your stacks of items until they reach a value of over 200,000 or as much money as you gave to them. You can create 10 stacks all worth 200,000 or even 20 stacks all worth 200,000 because you always buy them back and you never pay for your items. So you create a lot of stacks which are all worth 200,000 money on your side in your inventory and the vendor always keeps his 220,000 eddies. Then you simply sell one of these stacks to the vendor, get back your 200,000 eddies and you keep the other 19 stacks. You still have the value of over 4 million eddies stored in your pocket. And you don't even have to convert this to money. Because from now on if you go to any weapons dealer or ripper dog to buy something and it costs like 40 or 50 thousand eddies, you buy that, you pay for it and then you sell all your junk items to get your money back. So literally you pay them with your junk. You will get all your money back from selling your junk plus 20 thousand every time. So whenever you buy something, you don't even lose money, you gain the additional 20,000 if you sell your junk when you are finished buying something. You don't need to convert all your item stacks back to money. This is a total waste of time, you don't have to do this. You can always get your money back by selling your junk after you purchase something. The only items in the game that require you to pay with money are cars and the amount of cars is fairly limited. Everything else can literally be paid with junk by simply selling the junk to get your money back. Just duplicate 20 stacks all worth 200,000 eddies and then you are safe for the rest of the game for the rest of your life. I hope this was helpful and everything is now clarified. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.